Hey, this is René. Thanks for joining me for this um, programming tutorial. This is part uh, seven. You need, need two hands for this of the programming tutorial where we um, um, we write a RSI expert advisor that is um, opening, modifying, and closing trades. Um, and we do have this program at the moment. So the RSI is checked for its value, and if it's above 70 now we will open a short trade and if it's below 30, we will open a buy trade. And um, yeah, that, that's working already. We don't have to um, have to deal with this. Um, but what we want to do in this tutorial is we want to make the expert advisor modify the trades that it opened before. So I um, don't need these empty lines here. I can simply raise it. And after opening a position, we can check. We can do. We can do uh, the following. Just, just follow me here. We can check if um, position select by ticket. If we can select a position uh, by a specific ticket number, and we have the position ticket. Sorry, ticket number stored in the position ticket variable, which is a global variable of type unsigned long. And um, if we are able to select a position by the ticket, by the ticket, that means that there is an open position. I just closed them, but if we are able to select a position by the ticket, it means that the, this trade is currently an open market position. So if we do this, we can receive several information about this, about the um, the order, like the open price, position open. Oh, we can we can simply write price. We can receive information about this position by using position get no 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 anything. We will use position get double because we want to receive a double value from this exact position. Now you have to provide a um, position property, and it could be position price open. And you can see all the properties that you can provide to this function in the um, um, in the documentation, of course, or the MQL5 reference, and you can see that you can receive information about the position open price, the current SL, the current TP, blah, and the, the swap and whatever you see here, the profit and stuff like that. And you can also receive, of course, integer values like the open time, which is stored as an integer value. Yeah, we won't have a closer look at this, but you are able to, and you can do it by position get double integer string or whatever. Just have a closer look at it in the documentation and you will get used to it. So we will receive the position SL and the position position TP, position SL store all this stuff in different variables. And now we want to check if the position SL is zero because this means that there is no SL. You can see that whenever there is no SL, the value is zero. And if there's no TP, the value is also zero for the TP value. So if there is no position SL, we, we will just calculate a new SL. And it could be like, um, I, I don't know, it could be like the position price minus, um, yeah, what, whatever makes sense to you, like minus 300 points or 30 pips. Um, this this would be for a market buy position, and if this is um, uh, afterwards, we, we can simply uh, position we, we can modify this position by using position modify. We have to provide a position ticket and the new SL and the new or old TP, and we can simply provide the TP. And um, if we do it like this, you can see that uh, this expert advisor is modifying positions after opening it. So we can we can force it to open a buy position by checking if the RSI is below 100, which is it should be. Oh man, I have to stop opening my browser. So um, if I oh wait, it's 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 working already. So you see here the expert advisor opened a trade and it modified the position. Wait, let me let me show it again. Um, if I remove it and attach it to the chart again, you will see that. We do get a, um, at a we get a new position and it's uh, automatically modified. You can see here, um, oh, right on the bottom, uh, this order is executed and it will then be modified. So 
um, yeah, the modification is accepted and you have a new SL. So this is how you modify positions by using the trade um, or C trade class. So nothing special, no magic, witchcraft, uh, different thing here. It's pretty easy, everyone can do it and you don't have to understand everything about the C trade class. So um, we can do the same for the TP, of course. In this case, we want to add something to the TP price, um, like 500, and we can write the new TP here. If I compile this, you would see that we get a new order, and it has a stop loss and a TP. And this is pretty simple. So, easy as that, we can do the same, of course, for sell positions. Um, problem here is that um, we have to like turn the calculations around and um, to um, to get to know what kind of position we have we first have to get the position type. You get the position type which is um, an integer data type I think by position um, position get integer of course and you write position type easy as that and then you can check if the position type is equal to position type type buy. If it's a buy tra trade, we do, wait, wait, wait a second, what is happening? Um, if it's a buy trade, we do all this. And if it's not a buy trade, uh, then we can check if it's a sell trade. I mean, it has to be a sell trade then, but we can still check it just to be sure. And then we do nearly the same, but um, we switch these signs around. So um, this makes more sense for set trades. Okay, this is working, everything's fine. And we can just, ah, come on. This is a warning because it says, this position get double, uh, get integer me method returns a long data type, but I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's an integer data type. So you can just type case it. Um, by writing this integer in brackets before like the exact number. So the computer will know that it's an integer data type. Okay, if we do this, this is working great. And we are able to modify positions. Um, yeah, well, we did done with this tutorial. This is kind of fast. Uh, I will show you, because we have some more minutes left, how to test an expert advisor. You can um, view the um, strategy tester by pressing view and strategy tester or simply pressing control R. And if you do this, you can select an expert advisor, uh, for example, the RSI expert that we just wrote. You can um, start it, <laughs> of course, and see how it is working. Uh, yeah, we will have a look at it and it should open a position and it should modify the position and everything should be fine um, as long yeah, as, as soon as the value is above 70, yeah, we get a short position. This short position or sell position is opened. The sell position is modified and it gets a SL and a TP. And of course, at, at some point, the SL and or TP is reached and then the position is closed. Um, what I want to do is... Um, in the, in the next and last part of this tutorial, I will show you how you can close a um, sell position if there is a new buy signal and uh, how you can close a buy position if there is a new sell signal and um, how to reset the position ticket variable. So yeah, here we just have to wait for the, um, for the trade to reach either the SL or the TP. This could take some time, but I know, I mean, I mean, you can do it at, at your own computer, you are able to test this, but um, come on, I, I want to show you one, one last thing, because um, as soon as this position reaches the SL or TP, the um, expert advisor will pretty much stop working, because it won't open a new position, um, because the position ticket, which is two at this point for this position, will um, always be two and um, it's still two even though the position is closed already. So we do not reach, um, reach this part of the code anymore. 
where it says open a new position. So that's something we will have to deal with in the next tutorial. Um, oh no, we can do it in this tutorial. I will show you, it's, it's super easy. You can just write if position select by integer, do this, blah, blah, blah. And else, if you are not able to select a position, simply reset the position uh, ticket variable to zero. And that's all the magic, um, yeah. Just do this and run another test and you will see that as soon as the position reaches the SL or TP, it is ready to go and open new positions. And yeah, in the next tutorial, we will talk about how to close trades. We will do this whenever there is a counter signal and this will be the last part of the tutorial where we had a pretty much, um, pretty, pretty nice run about some, um, some basic um, programming concepts and how to work with the Media Trailer 5. So I hope you liked it so far. If it's the case, give it a big thumbs up and write a comment if you like this. And I will do more tutorials like this. And yeah, please watch the last part so you have a fully working expert, expert advisor afterwards. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.